Today on The Grid, we are still reeling from yesterday's mind-blowing Adobe AI-powered feature launch and simultaneous crushing of photographer's souls all around the world. We've got an update on the Kickstarter launch, Kuhn is back from gallivanting out west, and we have a special unboxing on today's show as SpaceX has returned one of Kuhn's cameras and we don't have any idea what kind of shape it's in. We have a special in-studio guest today as Instagram posing sensation Amanda Lusant is going to be joining us here live on the set and we've just got a lot to unpack we got a lot of cool giveaways it's going to be a wild day here on the grid and it all starts in just 23.2 seconds let's go the grid is brought to you by Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world everybody has a Platypod you should too go to platypod.com Hey, oh. hey, hey, wow, what, woo, 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 what a day we are going to have today on the grid. Um, uh, of course, the big news is Adobe yesterday <laughs> changed the entire Ooh. universe with the, oh, their generative boy. fill feature that is, it, it's in a beta, but the beta is very, very solid. Yesterday, we did a webcast at 9 a.m. in the morning, and, uh, and, and, all of the comments were, my mind is blown, my jaw is dropping, why do I even own a camera, and on and on and on. And uh, we're going to unpack that and get reactions to it and what you guys think. Uh, also, that box on the desk, SpaceX sent one of one of uh, Eric's... Uh, I'm hoping there's two. I'm hoping there's two. It could be. We don't know what's in the box is the problem. What's we haven't opened it yet. It's still sealed. Uh, so we don't know what's in the box. But... You know, he was there in Boca Chica, Texas for the launch uh, of the Starship that exploded shortly after launch. But the problem wasn't so much that it exploded because they thought that might happen. But what it did to the pad was it destroyed the pad. Like oh, the, yeah. the launch pad. Concrete it, everywhere. Yeah, it was like the, the strongest rocket ever launched and it just kind of blew everything up. Blue Kuna's cameras uh, up. I wonder if I have the shot. Oh, I got to get it. Yeah, the, okay. one of the, uh, the with, with the camera saw. Look at the camera So saw. we're going to unbox that. We're going to open it. We're going to see what's what with that. And it could be there just in go. pieces. We just don't know. Here's what his camera. That's one of my cameras that was actually okay. Saw, but about 500, well, about 500 yards back from where these cameras were. Yeah, it, it's, that's, it's kabonkers. So we're going to open that in a minute. We're going to see what's in there. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff happening here. Let me just real quickly go through through my list. Um, Eric and I are back from our, our workshop in New York. So we had our workshop, and then we had the uh, Lightroom conference last week, which went phenomenally Phenomenal. well. That was we great. had a huge crowd. <laughs> yeah. It went so well. There was so much great information with all the new masking and all I that new so stuff. Much. Oh, man, there was just so much great content. Uh, it, it went wonderful. We had a wonderful time. Uh, tomorrow on my, no, Friday on my blog and on LightroomKillerTips.com, I'm going to be releasing a Adobe Spark page that mm -hmm. I did uh, from the New York workshop. And what I did, I did it differently because Eric and I virtually did not shoot. Like, I think yeah, I took 70 photos for the week. So... It's all behind the scene shots. Now, Eric took some of them with his iPhone and some of them with his other camera. I took a few, some of the participants sent. So I'm telling the story through behind the scene shots. Nice. And then I'm showing shots from the participants. I'm showing oh, their yeah. shots. So that's very exciting. And I'll tell you what, the, the participants' images, they so crushed good. it. Yeah. Wait till you see the photos the participants mm. got. I mean, they mm. absolutely killed and it you know what the thing is we worked it that's the thing is the reason they got the good images is we all worked it together and yep. got the great images yep. that's what you do great photography takes it, effort it and takes time. time and unless you got adobe and you just highlight it and tell it what you want to do yeah then, it yeah. just but the, everybody was fully engaged they were working the scenes they were they were doing everything they needed to do to get the great shots and they did they came away with amazing photos as you'll see on friday uh also uh, hey, this is big. The, the Kickstarter campaign for the new Platypod handle, handle is just about over. If you wanted to get one, because from what I understand, the first shipment has already left the factory. It's on a ship. They make them, you know, they don't make them in Cleveland. 
<laughs> and they're probably coming from anyway uh you got to go get this now go get it now go to kickstarter type in platypod and you'll find the platypod well, handle or i'll just... tell you scott I, I use that out in utah yeah i was using it yeah it's really nice I, I was using it for like a light painting stand i also used it to like put my camera down low but then a little bit higher it's a it's a great little tool to have in your arsenal. Yeah, and and if you're not sure what it's about, go watch that video, and you'll see all the things that it does. Because when when I first heard about it, I'm like, oh well, I don't really need a, a you know just a riser. Mm -hmm. And then when you see all the things it does, you're like, holy cow! There's so much to it. It is like a jack of all trades. So anyway, go watch that video, check it out, and and but you got to get in on this now. The, the Kickstarter is about to close. There's only seven days to go. This yeah. is the last week. And I know a lot of people wait till the last minute to get theirs. Well, if you want to get yours in the first shipment, you got to go now. Go and get your Kickstarter right now. So that's that's the big news. Um, well, oh, workshops. So I have a workshop coming up in London. I'm going to open it up to the public next week. So tickets go on sale next week. But if you want to get it on the early notice, so you get it before the public, Go to my site, which is scottkelbyworkshops.com. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And at the bottom, you will see a advanced notice mailing list. So there it is right there. And you'll be, before the public knows, you will know. So you'll get a shot at getting one of the last seats. So that's coming up. Um, we just announced a, a, a conference and it's taken off. So it is the On One Photography Conference. It is, it is... I know so many of you have bits and pieces or all of the on ones software plugins. This is the first time I think I've ever seen an entire conference dedicated to plugins. We got an all-star cast of, of instructors. It's going to be amazing. And you're going to be able to take things to a whole new level. I'm going to be teaching there. Uh, you know, of course, Eric, everybody, we got all these great instructors put together. There's so much. And if you sign up now, you save big money. Go and get on board with this. This is going to be a tremendous event, and it's coming up in the middle of July. Uh, what else will we have? Oh, Thursday, uh, Jefferson Graham is doing a, a podcast at 5 p.m. Eastern time. He does an iPhone photography podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm the guest this week. Awesome. We're going to be talking about iPhone photography and traveling and shooting with your nice. iPhone. So I, if you go to if you follow Jefferson Graham. Uh, on any and you should if you're not following jefferson you got to follow him his stuff is great uh he does these photo walks where he goes to different cities and stuff and he's so entertaining he's so good and he's also a kelby one instructor which means we love him mm -hmm. so uh, i hope to see you thursday at 5 p.m it'll be live then there it is the jefferson graham cool there such a is. cool guy all right next I wait. I'm going to save this, but I have a chicken sandwich update. Okay. I have two important chicken sandwich updates, but our Phil, our, I mean, our, our 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 topic today is about what happened yesterday. I, I have a little 60 second video from Terry White. I got it as I was pulling in the parking lot. I want to show it to you just to give you an idea of the crazy insanity and stuff that's happening. That is just mind blowing technology that is now built into Photoshop. Uh, you have to have the beta version. You go download the beta, and you can use it right beside your own Photoshop. Go to the Creative Cloud, click on Beta Apps. Yeah, so let me show, like yeah. right here. So if you're in your Creative Cloud, yep. and then down on the side, well, Do you I have Eric's know. computer? They might have it. Oh, they did have it. That's, that's not it. That's not me. I'm that's... plugged in. Let me well, see. I'll get it going. You'll get here. it. I got it. Just a second. I'm launching it. It is not the fastest launching app I have, I can tell you. Oh. All right. Here you know we what? go. I know what, I know what it is. I know what that need to change. It. Here it is. Oh, it's hey, loading the it. apps. Okay. So here it is. It's loading apps. It's so fast. But what you're going to do is this. You're going to see a list here on the second. Oh, come on. All right. Over here. Beta apps right there. That's where you're going to go. You're going to click on the word beta apps and it's going to say Photoshop beta. And that's the one. See, it even says it right here. Go get the Photoshop beta. So go get it. And uh, when you see this new generative fill, it's going to blow your mind. Uh, the whole thing yesterday just, I mean, jaws are dropping everywhere. This was such a big release. Adobe was on the Today Show. Yeah. Yesterday they were on the Today Show. This is just, this is big. This is as big as it gets. I want to show you Terry White's 60-second clip. I want to show you a couple of things that I've done. Here, check it out. Maybe. Here, check it out. Check it out. 
Not ready not for <laughs> Terry, uh, Terry's video. Not hey, ready for Terry's screen. video. Hey, there's <laughs> they got Eric's my screen. screen. Hey, ho, yeah, I was out. Hey, of the, I was out of the Nightscapers conference, and there's a shot we did out in the Nightscapers. Oh, conference. so that now, so you you lit the uh, that was light painting, low level light painting. We had a bunch of attendees man, your sky out there. Was rocking. Yeah. Well, actually, it wasn't. But there's the thing called Photoshop that makes it rocking. Yeah, Photoshop so, makes it rock. Well, of course, that's one one exposure. That's uh, all light painting and one exposure that's my that's my style that's what i love doing and uh it was great we got out there with a bunch of attendees and we were able to, i was able to show them like how to do that stuff and minds were blown and minds were blown yeah so, it's crazy so I, I don't i don't want to show my stuff until i've yeah until the until video I, all right so, so what do we want to do now well we got to give away a bunch oh, of prizes right? we got, so we got a bunch of prizes right Maybe we can open that box so, so uh we got uh giving away a platypod disc today so from platypod i use this on my trip to utah a bunch uh love it uh it's a great way to convert to a lot of people to just to convert from uh, uh i don't know the bigger spies to the smaller size you can use that all the time um and then we're going to be giving away a copy of scott's travel photography book you know because we all love to travel right we do and we're going to give away let my it shoot new book because book, we all like to take pictures of people sheeple unless you're me uh and then uh <laughs> uh the on one no noise 2023 plugin for eliminating noise out of your photos it's a great uh plugin for photoshop and lightroom we're going to be giving away a copy of that then we're going to be giving away a co uh, one v flat uh from v flat worlds this is for u.s shipping only um you can get everybody can get 10 percent off though if they go to the site and type in the code kelby 10 at checkout um and then we're giving away uh, from Retouch for Me, which is a new sponsor of the show, uh, their Dodge and Burn app. Uh, and everybody, again, for that one, can get a 20% discount by entering the promo code KELBY20 at checkout. Um, they go over to the site uh, promo.retouch4.me. You can get it over there. Are, are, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just watching these. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... To enter the contest, all they got to do is anywhere you're watching the show, leave a comment, tell us what you'd like to win, right? Um, and then also tell us where you're from, where you're watching. So make sure to share share the show too. Like don't just uh, share it out on social, let people know to watch it. We love having more people watch the show. Yes, yes, and, we do. Um, see Hit all like this and sign crazy. Up and subscribe. Just kidding. Yep. All sign right. up for the beta of Photoshop. Yeah. I, okay. Do you have any more pictures from the workshop to show? No, I haven't really worked on much. Oh, rat. Okay. I mean, I work right, on like this one is a day to night conversion that I'm working on right now. Um, and then here's another day to night conversion that I'm working on right wow, now. Wow, what a cool location. Yeah. Um, but I don't have much. I really. How was the I conference? Was so busy. Oh, the conference was awesome, right? So it was uh, put on by uh, the NPAN guys, so National Parks at Night guys. So Gabe. You know, uh, Love been Gabe. on the show Love before. Me yeah. some Gabe. They did a great job at the conference. Had a, um, a whole panel of instructors. They're they're just uh, the night people. Like they're they're the crazy night people like me. The crazy right? night people. So we had a blast. I uh, got to meet a lot of Kelby One members out there that were at the conference. Sweet. Got to go out and shoot with them. That's where we were out shooting and light painting and doing all that stuff. Um, it was amazing to see uh, just a, a group of very passionate people. Uh, loving to do this stuff, so yeah. I loved it. Loved it. It was awesome. So, what's in the box? <sighs> you know, I don't even know what's in the box. I'm, I don't even want to open the box. Let's open it. All right. Let's open it now. They're ready with Terry's video. Though. All right. All right. Do you want to do this first? Okay. Let's well, do the whatever, Terry video thing. Whatever you want to do. All right. Now, nah, now nah, let's open the box. All right. Let's open we'll the do. box because because we've got a very special guest today, and we want to yeah. get her on here. So, all right. She can see this craziness this, that we're going to show. Um, all right. Let's see what's going to be bad. So yes, yeah, so I set out two Think cameras. Think positive, they're gonna come back in perfect shape. I had two cameras on the pad about, um, let's see, 500 yards from the rocket. Let's pull up a picture real quick. Um, so one of the cameras was shooting this, right? So that was, the, that was the scrub that was on Monday. So that camera was mounted to a solid metal rail that has anchors into concrete mm -hmm. uh, so it's mounted on that rail um the other camera shot this in the middle of the night that was the other shot you know in the middle of the night 
So these cameras were supposed to shoot that, but obviously... Out in Boca Chica, Texas. That didn't happen. Here we so go. Let's see. What's in the box? Well, there's a bunch of padding. Thanks, SpaceX. And a garbage bag. Oh, and a bag. Oh, I feel <laughs> a camera. Oh, I feel two cameras. Two cameras, that's so good. I feel two cameras. This is good, two cameras. They're, oh, they're like the sand's coming out of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's pretty bad. They literally just stuck it in a Target they, bag. They did, they, they stuck it in a Target bag. Oh boy. Well, that's the way cameras are usually shipped, aren't they? In a Target bag? So, if they're in a Target bag with sand... Oh boy, look at this. Look at this. Do you see it oh, yet? Oh no. Look at this. Oh wow. no. I don't know if you can see that, but oh, that camera's definitely. Done. I don't think the Mark II's surviving that oh, one. Oh, that's done. Oh, look at the back of the screen. Oh, I'm oh. sorry, Mr. K. Memory card is. There's a memory card in there. Is it coming oh. out? It's not coming out. I'm gonna have to. So yeah, so you can see on the back, the memory card is all janked up and. Ooh, it's yeah. janky. So check that one out. Wow, that's that's just bad. It's, is it kind of what you expected? Oh, oh. Man. look at that one. Oh. Battery's gone. Oh, Boca Chica. Oh, can't even open up the memory card door. That's going to be interesting. Oh, man. Boca Chica. Check out that one. That oh. one's nice and, nice and toasty. Oh. And there's my name on the side of it. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, I'll have to see if I could dig the memory cards out and see what I can find, but I don't have really high hopes into it. I'd like it. to see you filing the insurance claim for yeah, this. Yeah, I'm going to file that insurance claim. I'd you like to I see will. what it says. Oh, burned up by rocket. Look at that glass on the top, though. I've never seen it like that. Look at the glass. Like, you see the prism? Oh, yeah. For the mirror? I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's that's not good. Yeah, I don't know if you can well, see Eric, that. Eric, I gotta there. be honest with you. I don't think these are gonna work. I don't think they're gonna work either. I, I got a <laughs> feeling. I'm just now. This is just a guess. I'm not a repairman. I don't think these are gonna work. I mean, I I think you should throw a lens on it. Give it a try. Look at the back of that one. Oh, oh Boca whoa. Chica. Hey, dude, you know so these you things know, went flying. So you know what uh, I was thinking of doing? I, well, I'm going to keep one of these. I'm going to keep one of these. But now that I have two, I did decide I, what I will do is with one of them, I have to replace them, right? So yeah. I thought the best thing to do would be to make it a commemorative print of the last photo that that camera took oh. and then mount it in a uh, case, right? Uh. And then auction that off. Oh, right wow. and see and that way maybe i could raise some money to replace them but we'll see because i i've got a feeling the insurance claim is not going to come through on this one we'll see though they no so they Boca i Chica. i had lenses on them they didn't ship lenses back to anybody but i imagine the lenses are in the same condition as the camera oh uh, if they, not, so you lost lenses too oh yeah I lost every. i lost the lenses i lost you know what though i will say i had a i had a guy who a supporter uh, just send me a camera, one of his old cameras. To wow, use. So nice. I'm, I'm up one camera. I just got to get another camera now. So wow. just got to raise the uh, the money to keep on doing this Boca stuff. Boca Chica. But yeah, look at the top of this one. Holy moly. I don't know if you guys can even see that. The top of this one is like gone. Like that's, it's gone. Wow. I mean, it just ripped it off. Look well, at you it. know Ooh, what? Like, I'll say this. This this unboxing did not disappoint. Wow. You know how sometimes you'll open it and they're like, oh, they're fine. They look like regular cameras. That'd have been kind that. of, oh, that this thing's trash. I mean, that's. Eric, I'm starting to think this thing's not going to work. Look at this. There's the LCD screen. <laughs> there it is. Oh, There's the LCD screen. Oh. I think I think you sent it to CPS. They kind of clean it up. Yeah, I, I should send parts. it to CPS and just say, "Oh well, God, that would be think? hilarious." What do you think? Just get a claim for what it would be. Just to, <laughs> just send it to him for fun. Say, so <laughs> use is, this at a rocket launch. This is yeah. depressing. I wow. love these cameras. Wow, they were so good. They were so reliable. All right, can, can you? All Sad. right, hmm. can you remove that yellow thing up there? All yes. right, that yellow. That can you remove that yellow thing? All right, thank you. Yes, that thing. Thank yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, wow, 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 wow. All right, we're going to talk about this Adobe stuff. I have some <laughs> examples where they have the Terry Vitti video ready, but we're going to take a, a short break. Uh, so when we come back, and we are coming back, 
We're going to have a very okay. special guest joining us in the studio. So stick around. This is going to be uh, an eye-opening show. We'll be back here in a couple minutes. Don't go, don't go away. I don't have to tell you how great the camera is in your iPhone. It's really pretty amazing. And I know that a lot of people out there are really giving this a serious thought, not only as their second camera, but often as their first camera. If you're brand new to the iPhone, I've got a brand new course I think is really gonna help. I'm gonna cover 20 different techniques, stuff that you need to know, stuff to how to set up your camera, how to get the most out of it, and it's really gonna make a big difference. It's gonna make you fall in love. If you liked your phone camera before, now you're gonna love it. We're gonna cover a lot of ground. We're gonna be on location. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I hope you come and join me, and it's exclusively here at Kelby One. I am a portrait and wedding photographer based in Valencia, Spain. I do mainly commercial and editorial photography, and I retouch up to 100 photos a month. We shoot almost every day for all kinds of clients, such as commercial, beauty, and fashion. And we retouch our work more often like every other day. I used to spend over one hour for one photo. If we want professional results, we must remove skin blemishes, do micro dodge and burn, highlight eyes, widen teeth, and even reduce wrinkles in clothes. And this can easily take me up to two hours of work for each photo. So when I saw that there's a plugin for Photoshop that helps you retouch quicker, I was eager to get my hands on it. I read many feedbacks about it, and I found a lot of positive reviews, which made me to consider buying my first plugin. One of the challenges we have at the end of a session or wedding is to achieve an addition in our photograph that look natural. This is where retouch for me has become a game changer. I love the feature that you can pick how much effect it has on your photo and you can adjust it accordingly to your style. I saved a lot of time and always end up having amazing results with my work. I am extremely happy with the quality. Now. I am more efficient and have more time to spare with my family. Hey guys, I'm Tubby and I'm going to show you two really cool products that we at B Flat World sell. So the first one is our duo boards, which are double sided hyper realistic backdrops for food and product photographers. They come in two sizes. This is the larger side. We have all different types of textures and designs. These are some of the new ones that came out recently and they also there's a bag option available for them and our other product which is what we actually started the company with it's called a v-flat it's a foldable v-flat and it's used for portrait and studio photographers to control light on their subjects to either add light with the white side or use the black side to uh, subtract light or or even block like an unwanted uh window light coming in This segment of The Grid is brought to you by b &H Photo, the professional source since 1973. Hi, everybody. We are back, and joining us is a, an Instagram posing sensation, <laughs> Amanda Lusant, who is very, very famous on Instagram and came to us through Mr. Vanelli. Yeah, so Vanelli. <laughs> Vanelli turned us on to her and said, you got to see her posing is amazing. She could do a class for you guys. And we watched <laughs> it, and we're like, holy cow. I mean... You are so good at it. You're so natural at it. And uh, so you're here doing a class? Yeah, yeah. I, I have a, po a pose academy too. Ooh, there in you Brazil. go. <laughs> this is the first pose academy in Brazil. All right. And you're from Brazil. You, we, you yeah. came here from Brazil. Yes, I'm from Brazil. I live in Sao Paulo. 
Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah. Was it a long flight? It had to be a long flight. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've done that flight before. It's a long one. But you look like you held up pretty well. You look okay. You look like yes, you're not yes, you don't so look I'm sleepy. Okay right now. I'm okay right now. <laughs> and well, you yeah. taped your, your class yesterday, so then I heard it went great. I heard all, all good things. Oh, thank you. So we're all just going to where she's seeing this photo. So she was taping yesterday when we did all this. So yeah. she hasn't seen all the new Adobe Photoshop stuff. But uh, I'm telling you guys, you got to go follow her on Instagram where she already has 300,000 followers. <laughs> um, but her posing stuff is amazing. I mean, I saw it and I was like, I don't know, Vanelli. And I watched like three or four videos. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's brilliant. She's really, really, really good. And she really understands this stuff. As a photographer, this can be so useful to you. And it can be useful to, not only for, 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 when you're working with a model or working with a subject, it doesn't have to be a model. And that's what I think is great. Yes. It's, professional models kind of know how to pose. Mm -hmm. It's everybody else that makes these very awkward things, <laughs> but oh. you make it so easy and it's so obvious. I watched your videos. I'm like, oh, this is so <laughs> obvious. Yeah, yeah, because everything's about techniques, right? And there's one thing I, I used to, to say a lot, like, when you forget how to pose, create triangles. Triangles? With your arms like this and this and this. Oh. Yeah, just make triangles. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to try this. I'm not sure try. how good it's going to look. Let's come see. on. All come right. On. Triangles. Oh, yeah, I, I am happy. With your arms and legs. <laughs> yeah, but look at the movement of her hands. Everything's yeah. so, I'm like, fluid. And change your arms oh, and legs. Like, Gronk put hand here, <laughs> Gronk put hand there. Yeah, yeah that's it. But uh, I'm excited to see the class. I know it's going to be mm -hmm. super, super helpful. And thanks to uh, Vanelli uh, for, for hooking us all together. So he's, he's a great guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's kind of low energy, though, isn't he? Don't you yes, think he's... big, big energy. <laughs> he's, he's big, big energy. <laughs> big energy. He's oh, yeah. To the extreme. To the extreme. But we love him. He's the greatest love guy. Love you, Vanelli. Love yeah. you. <laughs> so, yeah. But Vanelli... <laughs> He, he has, he is such, you know, he, he, he's a very large guy. Like yeah. He's a martial arts fighter, right? Like yeah. a world, literally a world champion martial arts instructor and fighter. He's a great photographer. He's a great podcaster. He's a great guest. He took over the grid a few yeah. weeks ago. You guys yeah, know. You guys and he but met he, me on Instagram. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's how you guys met. You <laughs> met on Instagram. There yeah. you go. Yeah, Instagram's but, a great network. But also, Vanelli has the biggest heart. <laughs> yes. He really does. Like, he really loves, he yeah, genuinely very, loves for, people. For, I think it's for a very uh, intimidating guy. He's very, uh, yeah, just loving. He's a and very intimidating and, teddy bear. Yes. Yeah, exactly. He's like an that's evil it. teddy bear. Like, picture a teddy bear. Like, teddy bear. Like, it's evil. Yeah, that's, that's the best description. <laughs> yes. All right. Hey, tell me a little bit about Pose Academy. So, in, in Brazil. Okay, Pose Academy. Uh, we launch, uh, I will launch the Pose Academy uh, in August. Okay. And this is the first Pose Academy in Brazil and in the world. Ah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's almost five, five hours of immersive classes about posing techniques and with almost uh, about 15 girls, okay? Because it, it's a, a, a less, a, it's a small one class, okay? Oh, Just I see. to to it's, it's a class for models photographers but for women okay okay and they will understand everything about posing and after the classes uh we're gonna do a photo shoot with with them oh very <laughs> nice what's the web address is it is it poseacademy.com mm -hmm. oh, yes easy all right there great we, we are creating you're crazy. Oh, you're, right? you're working yeah, right last yeah. I like your logo. It looks cool. I mean, it looks yeah. very, it looks legit. All right, let's um, let's look at some of this stuff. Let's run yeah. Terry's video. This is and big. I'm interested to hear what you think about this. This is pretty this is wild. Big. Go ahead. Let's run Terry's video, and, and we'll just let our minds explode. Hey everyone, Terry White here, and by popular request, I've got another magic trick for you. Let's take a look. All right, let's address the elephant in the room or on the sidewalk. Let's, he's a little tightly cropped, so let's use our crop tool and go ahead and uncrop this area. Now that I've got it uncropped, I'm going to take the magic wand tool and select the empty white area that I just created. We'll go ahead and expand that selection by about 20 pixels, and then we'll use the brand new generative fill with no prompt to tell it to magically fill in the areas. I got three to pick from. I kind of like this one, 
but we kind of need to give them a water source. So I'm gonna take my lasso tool and just draw an area right in front of the elephant, right on the sidewalk, and then we'll go right back to the generative fill. We'll type in a prompt this time, pool of water, and let Photoshop generate a drinking source with a reflection. And just like that, magic in Photoshop, new generative fill, killer feature. Cheers, everyone. Catch you in the next one. <laughs> she says, how is this possible? How None of us know. Possible? No, let me tell you what we think. We have a theory, right? Yeah. yeah. Our theory, er Eric's still working on his camera. You got the memory card? Mm -hmm. we'll Look see. at that. <laughs> well, we'll see. All right. We have a theory. Aliens <laughs> landed. Yes. Brought this technology to Adobe and then they left again. Yep, yeah, that's it. it's sense. gotta be. <laughs> but I, I'm, I mean, did you see the reflection of the elephant in the water? Yeah. It's crazy. So there's, now yesterday in our in our webcast, you can go watch it on my Facebook page. If you missed it, go to facebook.com slash skelby. So it looks like Skelby. That's my Facebook page. You can go watch the whole thing yesterday. We went through all the stuff. However, there's one thing that I didn't do. Now I did a class. When's, when's my class come out? It's today, right? I think it's Today? Today? Tomorrow? Yeah. Soon. Okay. Today or tomorrow? Today or tomorrow, my class is coming out. But when I taped my class, I did something that you didn't see there. Everything that we've done is taking one of our images and adding something to it, right? We're adding something. So mm -hmm. what I did was something different. I showed this in my class, but I went here. So take a look, right? And so you've got, you know, this mm -hmm. scene from, you know, Switzerland or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Uh, let me show you what I started with. It's a beautiful shot. Thank you. Here's what I started yes, with. This is amazing. <laughs> I started with an it's empty screen. Shot. And then you just go, you just select all, you just select the whole screen, yeah. and you type, type in you, you type in what I typed in. You can see it over here in the properties panel. Uh, nope, uh, that's not the one. Here we go. I typed in Swiss Alp Mount Swiss Alps mountaintops. And it generated that. Now that's not really the act you this place doesn't actually exist because it generates these things it's looking at millions of images and it takes a representative of millions Swiss of Alps. images that photographers fed into it yes oh millions God. of images so are those are those mountains and that stuff in switzerland yeah is that seen there no so then i typed in next i typed in so you right can there. Do whatever you want. Oh yeah. Picture. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> ah. Hiker in red winter, winter jacket. jacket. All right. And yeah. then, yeah. then I drew yeah. another selection and I said, <laughs> streaky clouds. Streaky clouds. Now oh, you realize that when you yeah, go yeah. here, you can say, do I want this streaky cloud? Do I want this streaky cloud? <gasps> and you can just choose the streaky clouds that you want. Right. And whichever uh, one I you like want. The one you selected so far. I think, well, which, which one was it? The first one. Or no. That. No. no. That one? No. no. This one? No. no. Wow. Dang. I like that one, though. That, that one? No. no. That's I like not bad. That That's bad. a nice one. Yeah. I like was, that one. That one. That was the one. That okay. One. But this is 100% generated. Right? And then I think I added one more thing. Yeah, what's here? Never Wait, existed. what's this? In reality. Oh my God. In our reality. Did I add something up here? Oh yeah, birds. Look at the oh. birds on the left side. Yeah, and you typed in what? And I typed in flock, flock of, of birds, birds in the distance. distance. Yeah. All right. So these, so besides doing, adding yeah. things to your image, I know, I know. I, that's yeah. why we want to get your, your opinion on this. Look, mm. so look here, I did a few more. No way. So I said, man on suspension bridge. Oh my then God. there was nothing over to the left. So here's what I started with. This is interesting. I started with nothing. Isn't this nuts? All right. Started with this. Typed in man on suspension bridge. A man walking across a foggy suspension bridge. Then I added this. I added a mountain. I wrote distant mountains. Look at the mountain. Wow. It added, yeah, added it in, yeah. but it brought it in in the, the fog. Like fog. Yeah, it fogged yeah. it up. So yeah. it just drew a selection over there. Like in other words, there was and nothing here. To everything. So it, I just added it there, and then I what did I generate? Uh, I think some birds. Yeah, ah. birds flying through the fog. Ooh. So that's just crazy. Uh, how about this one? Started with nothing. Uh -huh. I typed, I selected the bottom. So I, I took a, a rectangular selection and said, I want it down here. So you get to tell it where you want it. 
and I typed in, uh, let's see, desert. And they gave me three choices. Ooh, I like that. I should have gone I with like that, that one. Yeah, I should have gone with that one. I like that one. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I, I already rendered all this on here. And then I said, add a wispy sky and then add an African tree. And I had different trees I could choose from. This tree, that tree. Now, if I don't like any of those trees, I just hit the word generate. And it takes 15 seconds. Uh-oh. It says the generative fill session has expired. Oh. Please restart Photoshop to continue using generative fill. Okay. That, that's embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> right? So all I have to do is restart. But I have one more to show you before I restart. Let me just show you. The last one was this one. Creepy scene. Oh, my God. Very creepy. And uh, here's what it started off as. It started off as this. I said, add a lake mm. with a pond. Then I said... Add a scary looking sky, add a rowboat, add a dead tree. And when you put the tree uh, again, put the tree again. Oh yeah, hold on, the tree was there, yeah. Put, put again, the edges. Yeah, it, cut, it cuts I, out the, yeah. the air, it's incredible. It's, it's, because it's analyzing the scene, it's actually looking what's there, I added the boathouse. Uh -huh. So that house I added. So this is now compositing. There's, this is what compositing is. Now, yep, that's right? what compositing is. This is this is it. Totally you natural. Just, you can start from scratch. You can add. Like here's what, what it doesn't do well. You an hour. I have good news for yeah. you. Mm. It doesn't do people well, because what it does is it's making a composite. So uh -huh. when you ask for a person, that person doesn't really yeah. exist. It takes eyes, nose, mouth, jaw, yes. and it puts it together. Mm -hmm. and it's not real good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's here. I'll, I'll give you yeah, an example. It has Let's, a hard time with hands too. Hands like, too hands are bad. It falls oh apart God. like crazy. Let's just put right here. I'm going to put it. Well, I'm just make it bigger so he's right in the foreground, and we'll just go and type in the word farmer. And we'll add a farmer to this. Now it it okay. It doesn't. Oh, it's rest oh, I got to restart it. If we added a farmer, you could get a, a farmer that looks okay, yeah. but more likely, uh, it, everything would be just weird and distorted. And sometimes two heads, <laughs> sometimes hands have six fingers. <laughs> it's not 100% mm -hmm. for those two things, hands and people. Yeah. But for the rest of it, and animals sometimes. Yeah, animals, animals, you get like a cat anything, with four legs, yeah, five legs. Like stuff. very close that is an organic being. Yeah, if it's organic. Amazing. Now, that's going to get better. This is how to take your photos to the next level. Yeah, because you can <laughs> add any little thing. Any scene that you look at, right? And you're like, I wish I could have had this up here. I wish I could have had that in the distance. Yeah, it's like you it's can done. do whatever you want. All right, Michael says, I gave this a try last night and ran out of memory. Is there a recommended RAM and cache size to make this run smoothly? Okay, so Michael, this this is not computing on your computer. Yeah, It's computing in the cloud. That's why you have to wait 12 to 15 seconds. You have to be connected to the internet and it goes to Adobe's cloud. It does the, the math on their supercomputer and then it comes back to yours. So your issue is doesn't have to do with generative fill. Your issue has to do with Photoshop. Yeah. So you probably your don't. Local Photoshop. Yeah, your local Photoshop. You probably don't have enough RAM to run the latest version of Photoshop, regardless of whether that has that in it. So that's that's kind of a different mm -hmm. thing. Let's take a short break. We're going to come back because I really I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what your thoughts are. Just yeah. like Michael was was saying, what do you guys think of this? Is this good? Is this scary? Oh, Is this bad? I got some opinions on this. Are you a female model from Brazil and you're looking for training? <laughs> yeah, we know where you can go. go. We know where to go. Because that's one Academy. thing you'll never... People, it's, it's having a hard it's time. Gonna take, it's going to take some people. Stick around. We'll be right back. Hey, everyone. Rick Salmon here. I am so excited about my latest Kelby One class. It's on action photography. Now, in this class, I'm going to show you how to photograph birds in flight, horses jumping, BMX bikers flying through the air with the greatest of ease and dogs running at top speed. The class is jam-packed with tips, tricks, and techniques that you could apply to all types of action photography. And of course, I'm gonna cover all the different lenses that you could use to tell your story. Now we're gonna keep the fun going in the studio where I'm gonna show you some photo processing techniques. My friends, please join me for my latest class only on KelbyOne.com.
The nighttime skies, those twinkling heavy bodies, it's magical, it's romantic. And the solo winds, they're really singing. Can you hear them? Hey folks, Moose Peterson here. I wanna take you to experience and see one of the greatest light shows known to man. Aurora Boy Alice or the Northern Lights. Right now they're in an incredibly active cycle. They're absolutely gorgeous and it's something everybody should experience and photograph in their lifetime. Well, how do you do that? Where do you go? When do you go? How do you bring back that incredible, gorgeous sky, that, that pulsing green wave? Well, I'm gonna do that a whole lot more in this class. I'm gonna take you along. We're gonna go out there and dance in those lights. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna go in the digital darkroom and finish that light. So I wanted to invite you along on what's gonna be an amazing, incredible trip. One of those great adventures and classes on Kelby One. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Canon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> so we were just talking about, you know, uh, Amanda was just saying, you know, what does this do? How do you guys feel about this? And we're like, <laughs> How? We don't know what, we're uneasy about it. I'm definitely uneasy. I now, mean, it's cool. There's that shock value in the beginning where you, I've started to play with it and I'm like, ooh, what can I do here? What can I do here? Oh, but I spent I'm, hours, hours. But then you back up from it and you're like, man, this is really changing the game. I mean, stock photography is pretty much done now. I think you gotta realize it's pretty much done. Well, can I show you an example? Yeah. So now, now this was, I did this originally with Adobe um, Firefly, which came out first. So Firefly was the make stuff from scratch. Mm -hmm. Then they, what, but that didn't worry me. That really didn't bother me. Being in Photoshop is the part that worries me. Yes. Uh, so with, watch. With great here's, power here's comes great responsibility. There's been a graphic that I've wanted forever. There's been a graphic I've wanted. Where's, okay. The graphic I wanted was to promote the grid. Yep. You know, we do a blind photo critique. So once a month we look at other people's photos mm -hmm. and we don't know their names so we can give them honest critiques. <laughs> okay. So um, I, I've been using a graphic of just a person blindfolded. Do you know how many years I've been looking for a person that's blindfolded looking at a photograph? It doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. You can go on every stock site. I've never found a photo of a person looking blindfolded looking at a photo. But for blind photo critiques, that's the graphic I wanted. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Let's make a selection here. And we'll type in blindfolded person looking at a photo. Now, again, it's going to take, you know, 10 or 15 seconds to generate it because your image is going to the Adobe Cloud. Generating and, and that by the way, from it, it not only sends that your, they fed into it, it. Not only sends your image, it sends your social security number. <laughs> All right, that oh. one's not good. Oh yeah, that's people. That's people. It has a hard time. With All right. People. Yeah, well, let's one. well let's generate it again. Generate again. Because they're not looking at a photo. Mm -hmm. Now well, I was able to say photograph. Oh, I've already it, I, prompting it is the other thing yeah, that's weird. Like, learning what the right words are and, is absolutely so. The words that you use, they call them prompts. Uh huh. Using the right word is so important. Yes, because if you don't say it exactly right, so you have see, to see it's falling see how she's apart. She's got one eye open and the other, and her hands are all funky. I tell you, people, it is so far right. away from people right now. That's the only thing in oh, stock that blind. I do think that is still stock. Like you're gonna have to have those people shots. Oh, well, but again, who knows what happens right, in a year. I'm going to try looking what at a photograph. A and, and, and by the way, a lot of them are peeking through their blindfolds. But I did it like immediately. I can show you the yeah. shot. Mm -hmm. It did it fine before, but I didn't do it in Photoshop. This was done on Firefly, which is also from Adobe. They're using the Firefly technology yeah. in here. Nope. He's looking at another person. Yeah. Close. No. <laughs> oh. He was looking at it, but he can he can see it. Yeah. So the I, prompts are the you prompts know, this are is, everything. This is what prompts are everything. But this is oh, also showing where wait a minute. people it's a little loose. It's How about this? Loose. No, no. Let's just do blindfolded person. Then we'll go add, yeah, add. A camera. holding yeah, a camera. Uh, someone holding someone holding a picture. That's yeah. what we're gonna do. We'll do it in two passes. Here we go. This is and good. every time you generate a new image, 
the AI uh, learn what you what I want to say. Right? Yeah. By the way, I'm glad that you mentioned that because mm -hmm. down here, if you if you like one, if, mm -hmm. a, if a one comes up and you're like, yeah, I like this, mm -hmm. you can rank it up or down. You can say this mm -hmm. is a good result or this is a bad result. Mm -hmm. So you can choose and help to make it better. Let's let's go with. Oh no, that's. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Something very bad happened there. Very bad. That's like uh, you, know what's not... you know what that? What's word? Person? I'm going to do it backwards. Person blindfolded. Because now they're not even blindfolded. Let's give it another 10 or 15 seconds. Again, we're looking for your comments and questions. Uh, oh, oh, English is supported. Okay, you know what that means? I misspelled it. Yep. If you misspell it, it thinks you're typing in a different language. Person blindfolded. It thinks you're speaking Portuguese. Is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I think it's in Portuguese. The generated it's images are removed because they violate user guidelines. Okay. Uh oh. You hit something. You hit something. It, so it has all kinds of protections, so you can't do bad stuff. You can't do naughty stuff. You can't do inappropriate stuff. You can't put a gun in somebody's hand and put them on a murder uh, murder yeah. scene and say, "Look, they were there. They killed them." Yeah, <laughs> it stops you. You can't like do things with bombs and all kinds of other stuff. But that, that's what I'm saying. I think where you need to add an element, and you used to be like, "Oh, let me go grab uh, a tree from stock photography. Let me go grab the scene from stock photography. Right. The scene in the tree or the elements, the birds in the background." You're just going to go here. You're not, I mean, which is, yeah. that is, that is, you know, what I've heard and what I've seen online is there is a reaction to this. There's uh, about 70% of the audience is like, this is awesome. And then there's 30% of those photographers who are going, this is really pretty much eliminating my job. And then the ones that are really upset, yeah. these are the ones that are really upset are the stock photographers that fed in all their images to Adobe stock. Right. They are really pissed off. Yeah. I, just I, saying. Yeah. And you're seeing that online. Yeah. I'm seeing that online. Right. So this is not just you thinking, Hey, I think this no, is no, no, no. I'm at. just seeing it online and I could see, I could see the point, right? I can see the point where this was fed in and the, the, the AI learns from images and these images were fed in. And then, then these images are creating new images based on images that somebody else created, which again, you could, I could argue, I mean, every image is a, is a remix of another image. And we've had this throughout all of human history. We evolve mm -hmm. our right. creativity based on right. other people's creativity. So now right. you need to, to take shots from one thing at a time. The dress, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the No, but with this, table. do you really even need to anymore? I mean, that's, that's what's crazy. All right, crazy so, so let me it. ask you this. Oh, you haven't seen this yet. Can I show you something? Yeah. All right, because I, I want to tell you a very specific topic. So yesterday in one of my classes, hang on, my Creative Cloud crashed. Let me go to Adobe now, hang on. Give me one second to find my class from yesterday. Why am I having a hard time? It was like right here and now I can't. Oh, here it is. Is it this one? Yeah. So take a look at this portrait, right? I showed this yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then I asked to change her blouse. Wow. Yeah. Right? That's right. crazy. All right. So here's the thing. Oh, see, there's the, by the way, here's the plus and the, that's the thumbs up. It did a good job. It did a bad uh -huh. job. And this is the way, like you were mentioning, uh -huh. for the AI to learn and get better. Yes. So it's very important that you do those just to, so to help the process we, out. We have but a here, question, Scott, though, is how do you get that box? People are asking in the beta. Like, how do you get the prompt box? You have to make a selection first. So you have to make you the selection first. You start with the first. selection. So let me give you an example. So if we did want to change her blouse, what you would do is use any one of the selection tools that you're comfortable with. I'm going to back off a little. Um, and then you just select it. You just go around here and say, all right, I want to. Oh, okay. So you're making like a rough selection. Yeah, of you the want blouse. it to be loose. You want it to be loose. Uh -huh. Don't make a tight selection. And then you see how it pops up this little thing uh -huh. at the bottom. You type in the word generative fill and you would say change blouse. Hit mm. generate and just give it 15 seconds. 
Now, and I don't, now that I, automatically just comes up though when you when you do a selection. Yes, when you do fill. a selection, generative fill, and that little bar at the bottom is the coolest thing because it's it's contextual. So whatever tool you're working on, yeah, there's a different blouse. I'm not crazy about that one. Well, yeah, because it but, replaced her hand and put her. See how the hand was it just put her hand locked. in a different position and yeah. generate uh, another blouse at the se the the same color. Well, yeah, you could. It's a you similar could, color. Could it's you. A, you could type in generate uh, a new blouse in red, right? You could just yes. say oh, red. Oh yeah, you could say generate red blouse. Now the other thing I did was I included her hand in there mm. when yes. I made that selection. So if you wanted to do, let me throw that away. What you would do to make to do this better mm. is is don't take that hand. Now I've mm. seen it still go and 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 replace, still put a different hand in, and a slightly different hairstyle I've seen as well. Now, mm -hmm. let's go generative fill, um, replay, uh, uh, just red blouse. How's mm -hmm. that? Yeah. And just hit generate. And we'll just wait and see what happens. But uh, there's, a, there's a method to all this, why I'm showing you this. So let's do this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wow. Wow, that's pretty good. And the hands in the same place. Yeah. So and also it has a layer mask. So if you need to bring back the original hand or uh, any of that stuff, you can just paint right over it. Let's look at our three different versions. There's that one. There's that perfect. one. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Two out of three are okay. This one's a little funky. I right? I don't know what's going on there. It mixed yeah. all the blouses. Yeah, it, it mixed it mixed a bunch of blouses. <laughs> that one looks pretty good. <laughs> Now, here's the reason why I'm, I'm mentioning this. So uh, last week when Eric and I were in New York doing a workshop, mm -hmm. I rented a photo studio. I hired a great model and I hired a fashion stylist. Mm -hmm. The fashion stylist's job is to show up with the outfits and the accessories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And fashion stylists yeah. are very expensive because they literally show up with all the outfits, all the accessories. Well, they, they have those photographic the model, they outfits. Right? Yeah. yeah, they have the outfits they know look great on camera, yeah. etc. So now I don't need to buy new clothes anymore. <laughs> you don't know. No, you still have to wear them out. You still have to have clothes in real life. But but, but like, you can only have one. But one. for example, if I was going to photograph you in the studio, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say you need to bring five changes of clothes. Yeah. I sure. would just go where, well, you know, where one change of clothes is easy to select. Yeah, Fair just enough. yeah, just wear whatever and I'll I'll I wouldn't hire I'll change the, everything. I wouldn't hire the stylist, uh -huh. right? I wouldn't I would just literally go and and bang and and be done with it. So, mm -hmm. that all being said, it's time to take a break. It's time to take a short break. We're starting to get your your comments and questions here and stuff. Um this is a lot to digest. It is just it's a lot. It's it's a lot. Stick around. We'll be back in, in just a moment.
This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the world's most compact tripod base. We're sitting here on the break just generating more. <laughs> Look, we're, we're changing. Now we're doing jackets. Now, you know, Matt Hayward's in the comments. He does bring up a good Matt. point. That it's important to note that Firefly content cannot be used in commercial purposes while it's in beta. While it's in beta. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that is something to know that this is definitely a beta feature. That, that, that this is coming because that's what I'm curious to see because I really am curious to see what Adobe does as far as um, giving back to contributors that fed in their images to this like uh, royalty or, or any kind of payment of like you know because it does seem like you took images from stock photography right you loaded them in there and now you're generating images it'd be interesting to see what they're going to do once it does become commercially available. Yeah. And, and so right so that's now, what we don't know yet. We don't know while it's in beta. It, remember what beta is. Beta means you're testing it. Yeah. It's not fully baked. Mm -hmm. That's why that little plus and minus are there, you know, so you can <laughs> let, Hey, this is working good. This isn't working good. Yes. Is it the quality for commercial purposes? A lot of times, absolutely. Even yes. in beta, but it's not done. If they're not done cooking it, they're not done baking it. So Matt, thank you for making yeah, that. Yeah, no, it is a great point. And, I, and that's where I am curious because I think Adobe could come good with a lot of people if there is some kind of like commercial exchange there, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll but anyway, that's, that's good. We don't thank you very that. much. Uh, Barry says, if this technology is jaw dropping in its infancy, imagine what it will do in the that's, near future. That's where I think we're at, right? Yeah. That's where we're at. Like, this is, this is 1.0. Or this isn't even one point. That's a point nine. This is like before even one point nine. All right. Um, I think Stu said this, and I'm not sure. Maybe it's. Um, oh, okay. Hold on. Hal Consulting said, the counter argument there is when you hire a photographer, they can actually produce the shot if they're. Can they actually produce the shot if their entire portfolio is AI enhanced? At what time does it become fraud? Well, you know what though. This this, this is. is this has been around for a long time. I've seen photographers that are looking for commercial work that will go show a photo that was done at a workshop where, for example, Joe McNally is doing the lighting. Yeah, like Joe goes, sets it all up, yeah. tells you the settings, and you go and you take a shot. Well, you got the shot, but c could you do that shot? No. Joe, you need Joe to come to you. You would have to hire Joe McNally to come and light your thing because he lit it and then you well, took the shot. Well, that's why you and I have always said, like, I don't put, you know, if, if I went to a workshop and somebody else was setting it up, that doesn't go in my portfolio. Right. If somebody else does that, that. That is not my image. In fact, I have a shot that, that I took, and I've talked about this here on the grid, at a workshop where Joe set up all the flashes. Joe set up a lot of, I took the shot, but I never show it. I never put it in my portfolio. I'm like... Mm. I mean, could I make that shot? I don't know if I, I wouldn't have had the idea to make the shot. He's got a guy on a beach with flashes mounted in two tiki huts. The guy's got fire all around him. He's holding these fire oh. bottles on fire. I'm like, I would have never thought to do, I wouldn't well, have thought see, to do so, this in a million years. But this, that, what you just said is a big thing in this conversation is we can't be, creativity is still key. Right. Oh, yeah. You still have to yeah. be able to come up with the ideas and dream up the ideas. Yeah. The AI can't dream up something for you without mm -hmm. you prompting it. All right. At least yet. I, I got to answer a few questions all up yeah. first. First question. If you don't see the generative thing, if you make a selection, you have to make a selection or it will not appear. Step one is you have to make a selection. Even if it's an empty screen, everything starts with a selection. If you don't make a selection, it, it, the generative fill will not show up. Number two, 
make sure that you've got the latest version of the beta. Last week's beta will not have it yeah. in there. Last week's beta did have a, a version of the remove tool, but not the generative fill. You got to go to the Creative Cloud. You got to download the new update. We haven't even talked about just, uh, the remove tool. That's better for photographers. The remove tool is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah. All right, so good. that's that's number two yeah. is you got to have that. So once you have those two things, it'll be there after you make a selection. Don't go, wow, I don't see it down there. You got to make the selection. If you're not on the latest version of the beta and you're not making a selection, it's not going to happen. Now, um, you got David saying, I'm not thrilled. Then uh, uh, what then is art? Okay, so here's what I want you to remember. Everybody out there, this is very, very important. There's nothing that we've seen today that you couldn't do two weeks ago. You could extend that thing out from the elephant. Yes. How that, long would it take? Mm -hmm. hours. hours. You could remove every tourist from a picture. It's amazing in removing tourists like, like yeah. nothing I've ever seen. Yeah. It'd take hours, but you could do you it. You could do it. You, you could rebuild it. And I, we always need to find a silver lining. Yeah. Yeah. And use the this tool to save time. Right? Yes. That's <laughs> yes. what it is. That it's is exactly what it is. <laughs> this is. This is doing stuff that you could have done. But let me ask you a question. Is, is how you want to spend your time spending two hours removing tourists. Mm -hmm. Is that a good use of your time as a photographer? Mm -hmm. That's a horrible use of your time. It will do it in, in 30 seconds, now well, maybe a minute, because you got to select all the people. But in my class that you're going to see, I opened a shot full of tourists. Well, I will show you. I'm just going to show you that I'm not going to do the technique because that's part of the class, but I want to show you the, uh, hang on one yeah, like sec. before and after of it. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree with what you're saying, Scott. I mean, it's a, it, this is a time saver, you know, where you can save time by, by using these tools to really speed up your workflow. Now, you have to debate what, what your line is, you know, if you've got a different line for it and where you don't want right. to cross. Yeah, take a look at this picture right here. Yeah, all the tourists. Look at all these tourists. Right. It removed. Place. Every single tourist on the top deck, on the bottom, on the stairs, and there was absolutely nothing there, not a single person. And Eric, there was nothing to clean up. Mm -hmm. Nothing, I didn't have to do anything. And actually, it might look cool if you just left that one girl. There. Oh, I could have left her, I actually selected her. Yeah. So you just take the lasso tool, you select every single person, you hit generate. You don't have to write anything in. It knows you don't want them there. <laughs> no. It removed it's every really crazy. single oh person, <laughs> yeah. all of them. It was crazy. I was, even I was stunned when I saw it. <laughs> now, I just want to remind you, all the stuff you go, we don't know what's real. You didn't know what was real last week. I could literally take a lake and put a rowboat in it last oh, week. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All of those things that you're seeing, I can put a fake sky in. I could put a fake sky in before there was sky replacement. I mean, we've been teaching this please. stuff for yeah. years. That's what you have to get over that because there you is. You got to get past thing. that. What this has done and the thing that you're angry about. <laughs> is that you learned how to do it. You took the time oh, and you yeah. learned and now somebody can just type in, remove all the tourists. <laughs> now there were techniques for removing tourists and there's things, we've been teaching these. Yeah, it's all about cre creativity. creativity. It's yeah, changing, I it's changing the game. It's <laughs> changing the creativity because now yeah. you're gonna, now that you can do anything easily, we could always do it, but now, now it comes down to creative. It's, yeah. it's not, That's what not I'm That's sticking the, stupid stuff in a field. That, but you're going to actually go out. I know I will. I'll go out and shoot with the intent of, oh, I could, I, you know, I'd be like, oh, I could sit here for 30 minutes and do a long exposure and move all the tourists. But I'll be like, oh, no, I'm going to take this bigger and remove it later. Yeah. And that's what you could decide to do. Or you could decide to sit there for 30 minutes. No problem. Tony says, uh, I, I can see the generative AI might be useful for me for generating backgrounds in portrait photography. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You got to see my class. I did stuff in my class with backgrounds and stuff that you're going to be like, holy cow. Uh, oh, wait a minute. It went away. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Um, not sure if I like it for removing objects yet. You, Tony, you just haven't removed enough objects. I'm telling oh. you, Tony, it's crazy. It's so because, good at it. Because here's what it does, and this is what I talked about in the class. Every tool that we have yesterday, content aware fill, the healing brush, all those, 
they all based it on the photo you were looking at. In other words, it would say, oh, you want to remove this window? I have to find a clean area of the wall to fill that with. It needed pixels that were in the photo. This does not. This creates it. It looks at the photo and says, oh, I, these people are blocking this, this doorway. And it knows what a doorway is supposed to look like. And it fills in the door. Like it completely filled in all the way to the ground and put the cement in. It added the stairs here. It did everything. Yeah, it added what was here. It, it did all of this stuff yeah, mm -hmm. perfectly amazing. first time. It's actually generating this stuff. It's smart. It's intelligent. That's why it's called intelligence. That's right. It's artificial intelligence. It's not artificial fill. It's artificial intelligence. It, and it's, it's not a artificial creativity. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. So it, it, it's just what Amanda said is it, this is going to yeah. be, it's going it's to surprising. make you change the way you think about creating. Now, I'm not defending this. I'm kind of freaked out about it. Because it, it, it's, it is, it's weird. It's just, I, I don't know what to think of it. Because here's what I'm trying to separate. The technology is blowing me away. Mm -hmm. But I don't like where things are going. So, you know, once a week, we, or once a month, we do a blind photo critique where we look at the mm -hmm. people's photos. Yeah. AI I, is not a future, it's a reality. So we, yeah. we don't have to fight against it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the quote of the week right there. Yeah. A, a, AI is, is it's not the future, it's the reality. Is that what yeah. you said? Yes, yes. That was really good. <laughs> All right, that's the quote of the week. AI is not the future, it's the reality. And yeah. you can it's embrace coming. it, it's you coming. can run away from it, <laughs> but it, it's, it's really, it is flipping I mean, just here. Put, put your shoes in that, you know, rewind back to digital to film. You know, when there was that, like, no, nope, no, nope, that's never, that's not real. The, those are not, you know, you need to have it oh, on yeah, film and you need to, yeah. you know, go in the dark room and that's how you have to do it. Yeah. You know, and that's where this is just an evolution of a tool, again, to speed up a workflow. I do think that there are some weird gray areas with it still, and we're going to have to figure that out and kind of does, it definitely freaks me out too. Because yeah. I, I think with people tend to, we tend to get these tools and then abuse the heck out of them. Yes. Right? And that's what <laughs> that's, we... So this is the, what I'm worried about. That's, yeah. that's what I'm worried about, too. It's like the HDR movement where they abuse the heck. Or, like in my genre, you know, like Milky Way photography, there is so fantastical, never could happen pictures that people are passing off as real. That's another issue here, is people yeah. trying to pass off their work as I shot this when they don't. Like, I've seen pictures of, like, they're going, oh, we're going to take you to this cool place to shoot the Milky Way. And then I've been there and I've been like, no, Milky Way isn't look, even there. It's like yeah. way over here. Okay, you know what? This would be a good thing for Adobe to do. It would be good for them to embed into the file because there's metadata that you cannot erase. Yeah. It would be great for them to embed into the raw file an unerasable thing or, or embed into the file, not the raw file because it can't be the raw file. Yeah, the file. Embed into the file anytime you use generative stuff. Mm -hmm. where it's, I don't know how to do this. I don't know the technology, yeah. but if you could mm. embed into the file, once you generate something, it, it and embeds I know they're a piece trying of meditative. to do that. They're trying to be transparent with it, but oh, I yeah. just, I'm not sure that anybody will actually go to the lengths of looking at the metadata anyways. So, yeah. I mean, it's just that whole thing of like, there, it, with great power comes great responsibility. And I think and we will, will abuse yes, this. We'll abuse we the heck abuse out of this. it. And yesterday people were asking, what happens to photo competitions? How do we know what's real? We didn't know what was real before, folks. You could add the rowboat. You could yeah. add a, a moon. You could add the sun. You could add all these different things. That's not new. Okay. Yes. Uh, the new class, uh, your new class is going to be out by the end of the day. All right. New class is out by the end of the day. <laughs> hey, uh, hats off to my team here and Juan. Uh, who, who worked really hard to get this out quickly. So thanks to them, they did a great job. So that'll be out today. I go into depth in not just this, I do all the new features of the, it, the class is called Getting Up to Speed Fast on the May 2023 Photoshop Update, which is the sexiest name for a class I've ever heard. It just makes you want to watch it. No, it's not a great name, but it is what it is. Photoshop May 23 Update. It's coming out tonight, so go watch that. I go in depth. You're going to see things in there. You will see my mind blown while I'm showing you the class. <laughs> like things I thought, let's just try this. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
uh, like I never thought all those people would be gone seamlessly first time. Right. Mm -hmm. That just blew me out. All right, we got a bunch yeah, of giveaways. <laughs> I'm got scared. a bunch of giveaways. Yeah, we yeah, we're giving away a bunch of prizes. We got a uh, uh, Sharon Horn is winning the Let It Shoot It Retouch It book, and she said it's the first time watching the grid. I'm so excited. Oh, so let's go! Welcome, Sharon. And then uh, Courtney uh, Grievers is winning your travel photography book. Uh, Denise is winning the Platypod disc. Joe Supko, Supko is winning the V-flat. Uh, Kevin Riley is winning the On One No Noise. And Sharon uh, Scarf is winning the Retouch for Me. So if you email us over at gridprize at kelby1.com, you... Um, We'll verify your information and then send you out your price. Just make sure you do that by this Friday. Um, it closes. So if you want a prize, this Friday, grid prize at kelby1.com. There you go. All right. Before we go, um, th this is all so new. This is all brand new mm -hmm. stuff to us. Yeah. None of us know really where this is going to lead or what it's going to do. Um, I, am, I am cautiously, I'm concerned. I am... Uh, everything i have every feeling you can have about it i'm hoping it's going to be go well um but you're you're i don't know i just don't know i i guess that's my thing hey watch the screen here real quick boom i left the little wow. girl like you said yeah, that's the picture oh my god that's it, right <laughs> That's what I saw yep. in there. Yes. And that's where, again, that's oh. where I'm seeing I could maybe use this is like you used to get into scenes and you're like, I see the picture, but there's stuff around it. And then that's what I'll probably use it for. Hey, by the way, oh there's three God. versions. There's that version. There's yeah. this version. Uh -huh. I like that one better. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, that's Whoa, the that's one. That's the, one. One. That's the that's keeper. Yeah. That's the keeper. That's it. And look at, we didn't even have to leave the house. We didn't even have to leave the house. No, you had to, or somebody had to leave the house and get that picture. Is yeah, that your picture? That is my picture. There that you was go. in, uh, that was in Portugal. That. There you and go. And so I'm standing there and there's all those people there and I'm doing that technique where you shoot one shot every 15 seconds. Yeah, and then take them out. There was just oh. so many people standing in one place that I, so the thing about that technique that you could do two weeks ago was everybody had to move. If people stand still, they're going to be in your shot. It doesn't, they don't go away. As long as they were moving, you could get rid of them. Uh -huh. But if they, well, the problem was there's big groups of people standing there. Yeah. yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> wow. Yeah, not anymore. Guys, look at that. that Let me is, just show that again. That is crazy. That very, very nice. Crazy. But, but do you see how it rebuilt the stuff? Yeah. It I rebuilt. Totally did. Yeah. yeah. That's, that, that's, that's every single detail. Yeah. But, but you, you're right in that we could do all this stuff a little while ago. It's just yeah. making it easier. And I do think that look inside yourself too and, and try to disconnect from. <laughs> I spent hours and hours learning how to clone and move and, and pull parts. Like, take that out and leave that behind and just look at this as a time saver. And don't look at it as something. You have to distance yourself from all that learning you did uh, uh, over the years. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's, it's, it's hard. It's, it's, <laughs> it is all hard. It, this it is does, all very it, there's, funky. There's this beginning. Where, yeah, yeah. And it's, it doesn't feel right, though. It just I know, doesn't but, feel right. But I will say this. The technology is amazing. Adobe has, again, done it. And by the mm -hmm. way, if Adobe didn't do it, you'd be going to some other website doing it there. Yeah. Adobe did what they needed to do. They, uh, do you want Adobe to be on the top of the learning curve and giving you they the best behind. tools? Or do you want Adobe to play and catch up? So they did the right thing. Yeah, they did. Yeah. However, this whole AI thing is very sticky it's sticky it's <laughs> sticky and while i'm enjoying like i i'm literally spending hours like i'm supposed to be doing other things and i keep going what if i added a, a zebra what if i did oh my gosh and i'm trying different things. It, it, it's a time suck like you cannot believe i'm really enjoying mm -hmm. that aspect of it i'm i'm holding my breath to see how this plays out me too i just don't know how it's all going to play out so i am I am like I always am. I'm cautiously optimistic. I I, I always yeah. look at and think things are going to work out great. So I kind of I kind of expect that it will, but I don't know that it will. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Eric was cautiously optimistic about that his cameras would be okay, and well, well, you see how that went. It didn't go as well as we had hoped. Yeah. Amanda, okay. thank you very much for being thank on you. here. Thank, thank you for coming to do these yeah. classes. Oh, thank you. Thank too. you and I wish you everyone. great success. <laughs> great success with your Posing Academy. Make oh, sure that you, you are following her on thank Instagram. <laughs> Amanda Lusant. 
and uh, make sure you're following her there <laughs> because her, her videos are amazing. And of course, we'll be telling you as soon as her class comes out, which will be probably very soon. Yeah, follow me. <laughs> so thank you very thank much you. for being here. Thank uh, thanks you, for coming. Scott. Thank, thank you, Mr. Kuna. Thank you yeah. for coming back from Gallivantation. Yes. Thank you all for watching. Next week, we will probably do the blind photo critiques next Wednesday. I'm hoping. Just see what we'll see what happens this week. Thank you all very much. Thanks to our sponsors right. and our crew here. See you guys next bye Wednesday. Bye. <laughs>